Where you are is simple. You're chained to a wall. Your feet are shackled to the ground by the ankles. Your arms secure tightly above you. That is where you are right now. But why? Because you know that this time of year, those who are good and selfless are granted gifts. But there's another part of the legend. What happens to the naughty? I take the naughty boys and girls. I take them to my dungeon and punish them. You're in Krampus's lair now. And you've been naughty. You don't believe me. Have you heard anything about Krampus before? Footsteps that make the earth tremble. Tall as birch nut, with limbs as strong as such. With a grip as firm as oak. A grip reaching out to grab you by the throat. Or pull you down into his lair. To chain you to his demise. To make you, in fitting with this season, a toy of his own planning. <sighs> Do I smell fear? No? You're not afraid? Then perhaps if I step into the light... Gaze upon me. Gaze upon a horned demon covered in hair. Not completely. There's hair all over this chest. Hair on my head that reaches my shoulders. Even across my chin and cheeks. Yes, this is what the legend said when they talked about a large, firm demon wielding a rod of birch nut and a whip or cat or nine tails to whip and punish the naughty, naughty people here. If you haven't blinked once, is that fear I see? No? Nothing? Nothing? Is that all you have to say? Is this a new Christmas carol I don't know about? Nothing? Nothing? Tra-la-la? Speak. What do you mean you didn't know I'd look like this? It's the exact description. Yes, it's an appearance to evoke fear. To make sure that all my little prisoners like you don't misbehave anymore. It's to correct and punish the naughty. What was that sound you just made? Don't say nothing again. You're not enjoying this, are you? No, not at all. No. Good. Let's just get back to this then. I've expanded the tools I use. Based on those reactions you have, the wider your eyes get, the more your breath skips, the more your skin trembles. I'll use every tool I must to correct you, to discipline you, to punish you. Is this demonstration fearful enough now? Good. You're finally nodding. Cooperation is the first step, if you want to leave. So, will you do everything I command you to do, if you want to leave? That's yes, sir, to you. No need for Sir Krampus, just sir. I tell you, you're being a lot better than most. Can you believe that some people enjoyed this? What do you mean you can? <laughs> you can believe it? Of course you can. You're my naughty little prisoner for today. Of course I would believe it. But do tell me more. What do you mean that some people enjoy this? It's common! <sighs> Hold on for just one moment. I'll be back. And I'll be back with more tools. Not just the whip. 
the flanker. Or the birch rod. That's a birch rod, not a riding crop. Don't you dare try to call it that. I'll be back in a moment. Come on, pick up already. Quiet, Kringle. I have a question. It's about the naughty list. I have been getting the correct naughty list, right? <laughs> There's only one naughty list and nice list. And I've checked them both twice. Twice, yes, twice, I know. <sighs> I'm running into a problem every single year. Oh, oh, what do you mean? You're not doing anything you should now, are you, Compass? No, no, and no. Not again. I'm learning. My problem, however, is that... Are there people that enjoy being tied up and whipped, spanked, hit with a birch rod? <laughs> Grampus, what are you doing in your dungeon? <sighs> oh, for goodness sake, I'll call Cupid instead, or his Valentine's if I have to. The point being is that the problem is these are supposed to be punishments that are meant to correct them. Do people actually enjoy these? And we're done here. Just another moment. I'll be back out in just a second. You stay right there. Don't move. Or something bad will happen. It may be a punishment. It... It will be something bad. Stay right there. Hello? Cupid and the Valentines. Listen, pretty boy. I have a question. If it's a question for me, oh dearie, this is gonna be delicious. Just shut up and listen. I've got another prisoner in my dungeon. In your dungeon, you say? Ooh, and what's the big bad Krampus gonna do to his poor little submissive prisoner? You gonna use that birch riding crop again? Maybe flog them with the cat and nine tails? It's a birch rod! It's not meant to be pleasurable, it's painful! Have you ever been hit by one of those? That was a rhetorical question. I don't need to hear it. My problem... <laughs> my problem here is that I have a number of prisoners in my dungeon here. A lot of prisoners? Just wait one moment. I need to find some kind of punishment to put them back on the right path. And so far, everything I keep using, they're enjoying it. <laughs> I mean, well, from uh, one scholar to another, just so I can understand you, what uh, type of punishments are you doing on them? things you're doing. Well, to start, I'll, I'll chain them up, put their hands above their head. Oh, okay. Sometimes, depending on how loud they are, I might have to silence them with something. Oh, oh yeah. Like them scream out into that gag. Now, are we just talking like a simple muzzle? Or are we talking... No. I have an assortment of different muzzles, different gags. Some are meant to evoke a false hope in being able to scream out. Others are meant to silence them completely. Some are merely meant to hold their mouths open. Say that you're on the right track so far. I mean, I've got some pretty naughty Valentines I may need to discipline myself. Mind if I borrow a few of those instruments? Oh, wait, well, what are some of the others you have, too? Well, I've upgraded from that riding crop. From the what now? From the birch rock! I'm hanging up now. Wait, no, 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 I can help. Wait, wait, wait. You're on the right track. Maybe you just need to get a few more different options, like a whip, a flogger, a paddle, I hear is really effective. I mean, sometimes a bit of a hot and cold game is work. You know, put something hot against them, put something cold. Some people who are really, really naughty that you'll have to punish might need a bit of wax play. You're making some kind of sick game out of this, aren't you? No, 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 I'm trying yes, to help. Like I said, are. I've got a lot of Valentines myself. I might have to make my own dungeon over here. Maybe discipline them a little bit. Let them discipline me too. I can get out of it. Cupid, this is not the time. I have a job to do this year, and I only have a few days left to do it. If I can't find out some kind of way to punish these people, to put them back into their own good character, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to be out of the job at this point. I might have... Oh, no. No, I'm not going to go that route. What is it? My thanks for your lack of help. I'll call you back another time. No, no, crap it. Ugh.
put the face back on. All right. Fine. <sighs> Shut up. Don't ask me what I'm going to do to you. I've heard a lot of people ask that over the years. Most of them trembled. Do you have any semblance of idea what I've been working with over these past decades now? There was a time when people cowered at the prospect of punishment. There was a time when people shrank at insults. Do you want to know what's happening in these recent years? Ugh. I used to bind or chain up my captives, tie them up standing, kneeling, sitting, forced prostration, all manner of tools, all kinds of positions. All of it was meant to evoke fear, a sense of helplessness, a delicious for submission. But then, of course, I get a call from the big man saying, you can't do that anymore, that causes trauma or something. He acted like I was doing it with kids. No, I didn't do anything to them. Besides, all I would have to do is appear in the corner with an instrument, and that would be sufficient enough to scare them into listening to their parents. Nothing more. Nobody has to go anywhere. Nobody has to be hurt. Nobody has to do anything. This dungeon here, full of my tools and... I can't even call them toys anymore. Why did I call them toys? Because... Chris, Kringle and I are supposed to be opposites of the same coin. He creates toys and machinations for, for people's enjoyments. I create toys and tools and other machinations for your torment, for your punishment. He takes care of the nice, I discipline the naughty. But over the years, you... Oh, Humans have really been testing my patience. I tried diversifying my tools, but so many of my prisoners said that's not enough. I tried putting my back into those swings. I tried bearing down on them in insults, humiliating, degrading, punishing disciplines. One after the other, after the other, after the other. All of it designed to put them back into the world as sane human beings, knowing that their actions have consequences, including punishments. This was meant to send them back, never to return, and I have prisoners instead calling me, or oh, asking me to call them, or sometimes step on them. Come February, and Cupid told me that 82,469 people wanted to know if Daddy Krampus is single. Daddy? Krampus? I used to be feared. A frightening, powerful, horned devil. Not a horny devil daddy. Go. Go ahead, just laugh. You've been holding it in this entire time, haven't you? Fine. <sighs> really has come to this, then. I'm letting you down. That's what I'm doing. Why? Because I'm retiring. I'm done with this. No, no, no. Hush, darling. Oh, God, I really am becoming Cupid. <sighs> Hush. The Master Krampus will return. Follow me if you want. Mr. Kringle. Mr. Krampus, you seem very distraught. Are you okay? I will be in just a moment. I have something to tell you. I'm retiring. What? I'm retiring now. But you Wait just a minute. I cannot seem to evoke fear anymore. Nobody's afraid of me. People want me to capture them. So, since these punishments are not punishments anymore, I'm just going to allocate it to you. You know that Chris Kringle is a jolly symbol. I can't be punishing people. Then threaten them with something like coal. Give them something they don't want, and then don't do it in the end. I don't care. Besides, telling someone to do good so that they can get a present as a reward doesn't change the heart. 
It doesn't change them for better any more than punishing them will. That's the real reason I'm retiring. Because it's useless. Krampus, my boy. Do you want to know a secret? What is it? I don't make or give presents to anyone. Explain. <laughs> you heard me. My elves, my workshops, and I do not manufacture presents of any kind. Do you think we know how to assemble an Xbox? <laughs> Residence, who is this? Krampus, it's Cupid. Don't hang up. Listen, I'm sorry for laughing, but I dug through some old records. I've got someone I want you to call. I know this is probably a difficult time, but I think this person will get what you're going through. She's apparently got quite a legacy behind her, and would you look at that? She also evoked a lot of fear from people up until, we'll call it the internet era. Because, you know, the internet being the internet changes a lot of things. And now she's used as more of a steamy adult symbol, we'll say. I think both of you could relate. Are you trying to set me up with someone? I'm not saying anything. You shouldn't find it surprising that I don't like it when people feel alone. So I'm not going to suggest anything. I'm just going to say I think the two of you have a lot in common. You might actually get along very well. Fine. What's her name? That's the funny part. I actually don't know her name. There's actually several different hers involved, but she's the matriarch I'm going to refer you to. But you can call her Kitsune. Just don't do it in public. She likes not to have a lot of attention on her. Kitsune? Yeah. Like I said, do me a favor. might make each other very happy. Will you call her? Yes. Thank you. I'm surprised, Cupid. What would make you want to do this? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Maybe it's just that spirit of the season or something. Either way, though, don't ask why, just... And have yourself a... Have yourself a Merry Christmas. And Happy New Year. Better get ready for my season next. What do you keep it out? <laughs> you think you know some people? As for you, thank you for helping me realize my punishments are useless. <laughs> I said my punishments are useless. Now, for the other hand, but this isn't a punishment, is it? I may not be able to punish naughty people, but I can still reward the naughty nice list. And I still need to test out this new leash and collar. Mm. And you still have several more hours here. <laughs> Come along.
all now, my naughty nice prisoner. 